basically <laughs> like you're just being a little kid, like a five-year-old. Yeah, you're yeah. Kind of connecting with your inner child at that yeah. point. And you're like, why, why, why? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony Show. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode with Tiff and Tony. Tony, how are you doing? I am well, thank you very much. I am doing well. I am recording and present here on a little family vacation. Ooh, okay. Tell us just briefly where you're at, because your background looks lovely. It is. We are in San Francisco, and we are in the Golden Gate Park. So not too far from the Golden Gate Bridge. We biked the Golden Gate Bridge the other day. Um, we went to Alcatraz, so all of that's fun. So all good stuff. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Well, it sounds like you have a purposeful trip that you're on, and that is kind of a cheesy intro to our topic yeah. for the day, which is having a purpose for your life, living with purpose. So Tony, uh, why don't you elaborate on that a little bit? And then we're gonna get into kind of what helps us live on purpose. Like, what does that even mean? That can sound super vague and like yeah. modern. Yeah, it's it's finding a purpose um, because when you when you've got a purpose in your life, um, life is just more fulfilling. It's just more full, right? You've got actually a purpose to be here, and many of us many of us don't understand that. Many of us don't live that. Many of us kind of just go through life existing, right? We we go to school, we do our school work, we do our school work to go to college, we do our college work to go get a job, and then we work to pay the bills. And um, that's that's the majority of people and how they live their life. And, and there's nothing, there's no substance behind it. So I'd like to challenge everyone, everyone that I meet and talk to, to find and discover what their purpose is. And when I mean their purpose, like really, what are they here for? Um, and why is that important? So, yeah, I think I just think it's important that we all know and understand that, and and are at least moving some way towards finding it, right? Right, and I think that can be the hard part is finding what my purpose, your whoever's listening, your purpose is and can be. And that's not to say you need one purpose that from the time, you know, you're a coherent teenager, your brain's fully developed at 25, that that's the purpose for the rest of your life. I think in my experience and the experience of people I know, that purpose can kind of ebb and flow as life, like ebbs and flows for you. Uh, because as we've talked about a lot here on the Tip and Tony Show, life is not linear. It's not just this like awesome, perfect graph line where you're like, awesome, I'm just going up in life, steady and great. Um, life is twisty and turny and throws up curves balls and sometimes it's amazing and we're on top of the world and sometimes we're in the depths of despair and all the in between. So I think it's okay and good and healthy if our purposes kind of mold and change as we as humans grow and change and adapt. I think maybe some tips that we have are how to go about finding your purpose. I would say uh, one of the things Tony and I talked about offline when we were preparing for this is having curiosity and being mm. minded. So what does it look like in your life to be curious about the things around you? Curious about what's outside of your kind of bubble that you generally surround yourself with. How can you be open-minded to the people you encounter in life and new ideas and revamping old ideas? What, just what does that look like for you? I love curiosity. That's that's one of my, both of these actually, my my kind of values this year is curiosity and open-mindedness. Mindedness. It's just it's just being open to the universe and what it's got to offer, right? And and understanding that there's there's, there's there's other stuff out there. But then I'd also say just just being curious about what's going on around you. So asking questions. Now that's interesting. What, what's that for? Why am I why am I doing that? Um, what would it look like if, right? And all of these questions, and it's just stopping for a moment and asking, what would my life look like if I found purpose? What would I be doing? And and the tools you said to get there is is asking things around what you love to do. When no one's watching, when no one's watching, and you've got time on your hand, what do you do, right? What do you do with that time? Um, if you're out in a busy street or in a busy town, what catches your eye? What are you immediately drawn to? Um, 
and and I say that because I'm I'm often out and about, and I'll and I'll see a kid crossing the street, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder what their life will look like when they grow up. Who will they be? And just by asking that question, immediately shows me my purpose, right? Working with kids to help them find meaning and purpose in life, and it's not something that I've pushed or forced. It's just something that I find my mind. Going to is asking those questions,、um, and and I meet someone and I say, "What do you do?" Right, and they'll tell me they're a bank or a lawyer, and I'm like, "Wow, that's interesting. How do you do that? How did you get into that? Why did you get into that?" And I want to know more. I want to know why they're doing what they're doing. So it helps me understand life, and it helps me understand my purpose. And then I was introduced to a brilliant question the other day. A brilliant question. Um, and it's an or question, which is and what else? I was introduced to it, and I think it's a brilliant question because you can look at things and situations. You can ask of it yourself, of yourself, and you can ask of it of other people. When they say something, we can just sit, lean in, and go ah, and what else? And then that goes deeper and deeper. I love that. I've never heard that before, but it's something I just naturally do anyway. Because I'm like, oh,、mm. tell me more. Help me understand. Like, what do you mean by that? And that just kind of encompasses that realm of questions. That's so、yeah. cool.、And、what、yes. I love about the process in general is it's not only an external process of being aware of like what's going on around you and what you're noticing, but it's that internal process. Of noticing within yourself, like, okay, what am I drawn to? Why am I drawn to that? What do I like about it?、So、you're asking questions of kind of the world and the universe and the people and the interactions around you, but you're also asking questions of yourself. Yes. And there's one other tool that I'll、uh, introduce, and it's simply asking why five times. Asking why five times. So I work with kids. Why? Because. They're fascinating, and I wish everyone was as young at heart as they are. Right? Why? Well, because that allows us to live this life so much more richly when we're engaged fully. Right? Why is that important? Because then our purpose is out there, and we just engage in this world in such a happy place. Why? Well, because if everyone was doing that, then wouldn't the world be a better place? And so. I'm looking then for my purpose. Yes, to make the world a better place, but to work with kids to help them understand their purpose, to help them engage in the world, so they can see the world as this wonderful, magnificent place where they can engage in. And it and it kind of asks through the whys, right? And and that, it's a good it's a good way to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, it also reminds me of like when you're a kid or you have a kid or you're like working with kids and they keep asking you why, why? <laughs> and and it's. You know, it can sometimes be frustrating in the moment. You're like, I just told you why, but really, there's something really, I think, profound and innocent about that of just like digging to get at the root of it. And then, it, not only does it get you the root of it, it gives you this kind of spread of like, oh wow, I can see this full picture of why. I can see why you love this or why it's important. And all the things, so I think it just helps give so much more information, and it's just、yep. so cute and funny to me that it's basically <laughs> like you're just being a little kid, like a five-year-old, yeah, yeah. Like, it, connecting with your inner child at that.、Yeah. Point, and you're like, why, why, why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's that curiosity,、um, and I just did it in a couple of seconds. But if you really sit with it over the course of time and 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 journal and write it down, you can really get some depth into your answer, and then. When you reread that, that's there's your purpose. Well, you'll find your purpose in that. So there's our challenge, right? Just ask yourself a question, and either ask yourself and what else, right, to see where else it goes, or when you're thinking about your purpose and you say, "I want to change the world," why? And then and then see where that goes to. Five times, at least five times, to see where you can get to at the depth of it. And something you can kind of pair with this. Again, we talked about this a lot. Is writing things down. I know that doesn't help for everybody. Not everybody like kind of solidifies things in their minds when they write. A lot of us do though, and it can be such a good practice just to journal this out, type it out, like write down your your answer to the ah question. Write down the answers to the, the five whys. And then if you kind of start keeping track, doesn't have to be super systematic, but if you kind of start keeping track and look back. 
and you can be like oh wow like there's a theme to all of these answers there's a theme here over time and so if it's something that is taking you maybe a little bit more time to find your purpose that could be a great way to kind of track your journey through it well good luck out there everybody i am going to make a note for me to start that this week and kind of see what i find i already know a little bit about what I think my purpose is, but I haven't done anything like a specific using these tools. So I'm kind of excited to see what I come up with too. Um, and Tony, enjoy the rest of your lovely vacation. Well, and we will see everyone back here next week. Yes. Have a wonderful time. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining Tony and me in this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony show. We hope you feel encouraged and motivated to keep growing with us. If you like what we do here at Peer Game, one of the best ways you can support us is by liking and sharing this video with your friends on social media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel using the button directly below this video on YouTube. And you can donate at our website, www.thepeergame.org. And with that, we'll see you right back here next week.